Our video by Black Unicorn Fan Fictions kindly do not copy and read the disclaimer carefully. Eating popcorn. Is she dumb? We are watching a horror movie and female lead is going towards a creepy place rather than running away from there. She must be looking for her brain. She has courage. I would have courage has nothing to do with the brain. What you both are doing here? Jimin pointed at TV. Movie. Why and forwarded the bowl of popcorn? Wanna have some? Never mind. Do you have any digestion issues? Why you are always in bad mood? Let me tell you some unnecessary information about my life. I am Kim Wyan, working in International Playboy Private Limited as CEO's assistant. Initially, I was a normal employee in finance department, but my luck speeches started shining and one day I went to Jungkook's office room to submit some files and he asked me to help him in something related to work. I touched his kidney stones with my hard work and he offered me to be his assistant. His previous assistant left his job. Due to some health issues, I gladly accepted this offer and gave him this chance to see my beautiful face daily. This man pretends to be really strict and short tempered in front of everyone else, but he's treating me like a friend since the starting. So I didn't bother my peaches to give him much respect. Today I came to his house as we both have to go on a business trip and I met this cutie here. He was watching a movie and I joined him until Junko gets ready to leave. You aren't supposed to enter in someone's house without permission. Did you eat Namjoon in your breakfast? Why so serious? I wish. Now he will get emotional. He got friend zoned by Namjoon few months ago. Was it important to mention that? It's my responsibility to show you the reality, sir. Rather than focusing on your work, you are chilling with my friend. She turned on the heater. Is that okay now? Wow. Why and I am impressed. I get another bowl of popcorn. Huh? What were you saying, sir? Ignored Jimin and started talking to Jungkook. Wyan, you know that we have to leave in an hour. Yes, I'm ready. You aren't. Pointing at her off-shoulder top. We have to attend the meeting tomorrow. So, it's okay to wear casual dress. Even you are wearing shirt and lower. I can clearly see your... Collarbones. Everyone have that. Malnutrition is the reason for that. You should start focusing on eating healthy food. Let me note this valuable information. Casual. Wine rolled her eyes and wore his hoodie. Don't you dare to do that again. What are you gonna do? Bite me? What the lachi bolala? I thought she was your assistant. She still is. Healthy flirting isn't bad. I'm leaving. Enjoy. Let's go. An hour is still. We will have lunch outside. Your kitchen is big. Oh, in the restaurant? Let's go. I am trying hard not to yawn. This man with whom we are having a meeting is continuously trying to crack only tendon jokes and expecting us to laugh. It's hard to fake the emotions. Jungkook is acting well. I want to go back to our hotel room and sleep. I had a great time with you, Mr. John. This wasn't a date. Same here, Mr. Choi. He signed the contract. See you soon. Jungkook exhaled heavily and kept his head on Wyan's shoulder. Yoongi Hyung was right. Everyone is so weird today. Hmm, beach, you donkey. Wanna go to beach? I would love to. Aren't you getting too comfortable with me? You said no need to be awkward around me. I didn't even say that get too friendly with me. Wyan got up and bowed down. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't have any intentions to hurt you. I genuinely apologize. Working hours are over. I would like to take my leave now. You also licked Namjoon. Hey, stop it. I wore a nice dress and started walking towards the beach. This is a new city and we will go back tomorrow. I should explore it. Ooh hoo hoo hoo. Where are you going, madam? Well, sir, I am going on a date. His expressions changed into angry ones. Wyan, I have already told you stop this. I am sorry, what? Stop behaving like this. I was messing around earlier. But I think we shouldn't be too close with each other. It will affect our professional lives. Jungkook, is that you? A gorgeous girl came to us and hugged Jungkook. Hey, it's been a while. What are you doing these days? Nothing much. Just working on my own textile firm. Oh, that's great. Looked at Wyan. Who is she? Girlfriend? Wyan, my assistant. We are here for a business meeting. I greeted her and she smiled back. Are you free right now? Absolutely. Have dinner with me. I would love to. Wanna join Wyan?
Jungkook raised his eyebrows. She must be late for her date. He said it in a harsh tone. I don't want to leave him with her. No, I'm not jealous. No, I'm in. I don't have any date. Let's go then. By the way, me and Jungkook used to study together and we are close friends. Then I went abroad to study further. We lost contact. Thank God. Huh? Nothing. Jungkook laughed at Wyan's expressions. I'm hungry. We went back to our resort to have dinner. This girl is perfect in everything. Well-mannered, well-educated, beautiful, nice body, a sweet talker. And the most important thing is, she is very successful. I remember once Jungkook told me about his type. He wants someone who can inspire him, someone better than him. Now I am observing both of them. And they are perfect for each other. I am not feeling good about it. They started talking about business and stuff and I am eating silently. I am feeling like a third wheel. I shouldn't have come here. She is very intelligent woman. And Jungkook is getting so much to learn from her. They are just talking about work, nothing personal, but I am feeling left out because I am not interested in that topic and I don't have any knowledge about it either. I paid the bill after having my dinner and got up. Nice meeting you, Leah. I will give you some privacy. No, I am sit here. I am having a headache. I just want to take rest. Oh, she gave her some medicines. Have rest. Oh, thank you so much. You like her? A lot. Maybe she was feeling jealous of your cockroach face. You weren't giving her attention. I don't think I did something inappropriate. We were just talking about work. Huh, she must be feeling left out. Oh, I didn't think about it. Every man is like this. But my husband is so thoughtful. That means he isn't a man. What is the... Okay, okay, wait. I want to get something for her. Take me to a shopping mall. Let's go. I'm standing in front of the mirror. Come on, Wyan, come on. If someone wants platinum, not gold, then you shouldn't feel sad about it. I'm doing well in my life. My parents are proud of me. I don't need to change myself for someone else. Someone will love me as the way I am. God always have better plans. Keep improving yourself. Ding dong. Wyan opened the door. He came inside and sat on bed. What were you doing, baby snail? Just took a bath and was about to sleep. What about your headache? I'm fine now. I brought soup for you. You don't have to do this, sir. Enough, Ryan. Were you feeling left out earlier? Kinda. You both were talking about business and stuff and it's none of my business. I'm sorry we met after a long time and she's a successful businesswoman. That's why I, I understand it's important. You don't have to feel sorry about it. By the way, she's an amazing woman. Are you into girls? No, thank God. This gift had no return policy. I opened the box that he bought for me. It's a beautiful top. Beautiful. Not more than me. You went for shopping? Hmm. Leah's husband on a shopping mall. I thought I should take advantage of it. But that cactus made a big peaches bill for me. Just for a top? I bought some underwears too. Leah is married? Yeah. You were jealous? Kinda. So straightforward, Wyan. There is no one on my mind except you. I just want you to be my headache for the whole life. I am touched. So give yourself this opportunity to be with me. Well, we don't value the things that we get easily. Miss Wyan want to quote me? I am down for that. No, I stop playing hard to get. I am desperate. You like me, I like you. Hmm. Netflix and cuddles.